Ah, you see me? <laughs> Am I loud enough? Anybody there? Get somebody there. I wonder who. I wonder who. Uh, I'm going to be drinking tonight. I don't know about you. <laughs> I think a happy hour just started. <laughs> Hope to be happy. Well, I think you just got to make yourself happy. You know, there's so much shit out there that is, is going to make you unhappy. <laughs> so just make yourself happy. And maybe it'll get contagious. Yeah. Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Do you see me, Sarah, now? Is that a little wave? China, Smith White. Boy, we go back a long time, China. Uh, don't we, huh? Miss Seleska, man, uh, Toby from PA. Whereabouts in PA, Toby? Uh, yeah, I'm from Wooksburg. Flunked out of Scranton Prep. <laughs> Got thrown out of high school. I don't know how many times. Not for malicious stuff, just being a pain in the ass. Uh, and I didn't know <laughs> acting crazy and pain in the ass could make you a lot of money, too. See, they never told me that. They just threw me out of school. <laughs> that was it. So where, where in Pennsylvania, Toby? Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Oh, lots of stuff still happening, man. It's incredible what's going on uh, all over. Albertsville. Is that uh, Albright College there? Where's that? Is that on the East Coast? Like Allentown area? Linda Tucker. Hi, Linda. <laughs> Linda, Linda, Linda. Well, it's amazing how much this Corona stuff is going. I mean, they're talking about another trillion, maybe two trillion dollars. I think, uh, you know, they got an excuse to spend money. <laughs> so everybody has their pet projects and, oh, now's the time to do it. Nobody's going to notice. I mean, we already spent three trillion dollars. That's amazing. And that's why the headline uh, of this, I'm talking about $3 trillion. So that's almost, we spent about $2.7 trillion now on existing programs. See that, the, the good part of this to me is that people are learning about government programs. See, all the government programs that are out there now, that they're, this, these two, three trillion dollars uh, that are there, that's really teaching to me, it's teaching America about, we already have two, three trillion dollars that we give out every year, <laughs> no matter what. And that keeps growing every year. So we're really doubling it. I mean, that, that's about, you know, $24,000, $25,000 per household. So if you're a household of one or a household of seven, each one is a household. So that's how I average it uh, to, to what the household is. And, and that's why it's to, so people understand. See, the rich people know this, and that's why they're always in Washington lobbying, getting stuff, because it's about a third of the economy, and particularly for businesses. I mean, businesses could have a law change and make more profit than they'll ever make in providing a good service or product for the rest of the country. You know, they, they can make more money lobbying than any marketing campaign they ever do. And that's why, good or bad, I, I, I think we... I think more people just should know about this system. And there are times that will be helpful for you um, and other times that will piss you off. And, and that happens with everything to me in life. I've been married enough to know that, right? <laughs> but I can't find a better system in, in a lot of countries. I mean, there's some good parts that, uh, but just what I like about this place, I can dress like an idiot, you know, and they won't put me in jail yet. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> in other countries, they just ignore me. They don't even see me. As in China, man, nobody, the only person who got excited when they saw my suit was a guy drunk in the, in the gutter. <laughs> I 
everybody else is so polite. They didn't say a word. <laughs> and that was funny. And then the other place I remember in Canada, people just pretend they don't see me. You know, it's sort of like in the snobby districts in Washington here that I'll walk around and people just pretend they don't see me. They don't know what to do. Yeah. Like I belong to a fancy country club. I used to be a golfer. Uh, and, and that was like that. They just pretend they didn't see me. They don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're, they're tied up inside. You know, they're just not comfortable, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? We all suffer in life. You know, who are we to say how somebody else should or should not suffer? We're all suffering our own way. <laughs> we got enough suffering to do. And that's what I'm trying to do about these programs is show people. I mean, that's what's so nice is that uh, it's on the front news and I know it won't last long. It makes me very busy and that's wonderful. Uh, I sort of feel like I have a re resurgent in life starting all over again. I had basically, I've been doing information kind of related businesses for 30, 40, 50 maybe years now. Uh, and as one goes, uh, I really do another, but just in a different way. And that's what's happening now. See, I mean, uh, the Facebook group, uh, until I found that, I couldn't make money out of doing it. See, and, and what I will like about it, too, I'm able to do it for $20. All, all the big experts I got to help me try to do this, oh, you got to charge $500. You got to charge $1,000. And all that. I didn't want to do that. I want to be the $20 guy. Yeah, and, and I think this is such important information for people to help their life. Sure, it may work, it may not work. I guarantee that. But I can't guarantee that these programs are real, you know, and they may or may not help you. And, and uh, the point is, is that you try. You know, that's the whole thing in life. You know, the, that person that you fancy or whatever may or may not go out with you, but they'll never go out with you if you don't ask. <laughs> that's for sure. So it's like money. It's like everything. Getting a job. You'll never get it if you don't ask. Yeah. Uh, and that that's the best I could do. But the problem I see with this than anything else, you don't even know what to ask for. So that's why people go into um, Google and want a business grant. We'll do that now. You you won't find any of the real business grants. You'll find one or two little ones somewhere or whatever. But most of the business grants are not that way. I mean, you look at the the ones that are now at the SBA, they're forgivable. You know, uh, that's a forgivable loan. So it's categorized as a loan, <laughs> but they forgive it. <laughs> and, and that's, you know, a three, four, but that's six, seven hundred billion dollars just in the last couple of months. By the way, anybody who's applying for that PPL, you know what I just found out? They can't give it all out. I mean, you know, uh, 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 three weeks ago, you know, the first group, you know, were like, you know, of uh, what was it like three, four uh, hundred billion dollars. It went in three days. The next group came three, four hundred billion dollars. They still have like 40 percent of it sitting in the drawers. <laughs> Nobody's applying. <laughs> They're tied up with paperwork. So I don't know if they're going to do it any faster. But that's it. The the. I mean, I thought, whoa, after that first group went out so quickly, you know, and, and it was gone before anybody could do, well, you go try again now because they have a, you know, close to $200 billion that they haven't given out in the second round of this stuff. I think about $150 billion yet. So, I mean, isn't that incredible? You know, I mean, uh, uh, two weeks ago, you thought you wouldn't have it. See, and that's stopping people. So you read a headline and then you believe, oh, that's true. Okay, I mean, I even believe it, and I study this stuff every day, you know, and now there's a little story, and, you know, here in the New York Times, it's way down on the bottom here. Uh, it says, millions in relief funds have not been claimed. you got to help those bureaucrats make quota. They have to give out all this money. Please help these poor bureaucrats <laughs> give out the money. Uh, nearly two weeks after the Paycheck Protection Program, began making its second round of loans. Okay, so it's been two weeks now, the second round out, and they haven't given it out. Last time they gave it all out in three days. Okay, uh, nearly 40% of the funds remain unclaimed, surprising lenders who thought the money would vanish fast. So 40% is still unclaimed after two weeks. Get out there, help bureaucrats make money, got to do their job because see what bureaucrats do they have to spend the money 
they want to because then they don't get more money. <laughs> if nobody applies to this, oh, you don't need this money anymore. See, they really justify their position by spending money. You know, most businesses, it's the other way around, right? <laughs> Not there. A little more than 180 billion of the program's 310 billion had been allotted as of Treasury on Thursday night, the SBA said in its latest report. So of the 310, they, they gave out 180 billion as spoken for. Intended to help small companies keep their workers employed, the program offers forgivable loan to cover eight weeks of payroll and certain other operating expenses like rent. rent. So you could pay your operating expenses, pay your payroll and stuff like that with this loan. And that part is forgiven. If you're doing this something else, you know, to take a, a lady to San Francisco or something, that's not covered, okay? Uh, but growing concern among the business owners over the program's complex and still changing rules has dampened demand. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. And most things are, especially good stuff. You want the money? Okay, you go through the pain in the ass. You don't want the money or you have an easier way? Fine, you know, you go somewhere else. So that means they really didn't need it, you know, to me. Uh, or it can't be, I'm sure that's not 100%, right? But, you know, uh, the program offers forgivable loans, okay? But, okay, roll it down. Some who took the cash are sitting on it, so they're not even using the cash. Those who do not spend the money on payroll will not have the loan forgiven. But actually, I think it's only like a 1% interest. So it's money you're going to get cheaper than any bank is going to give you. Uh, I forget how you got to check me on that 1%. But it's really low interest. And I think the interest doesn't start till like a year or something like that. Uh, those who do not spend the money on payroll will not have the loan forgiven. Saddling them with a large debt during the economic collapse. For many owners, though, hiring back workers in the face of such uncertainty does not make sense either. See, things change. So what you think is, is good to do today isn't good to do today. Like driving for Uber. <laughs> Uber just laid off, I don't know, tens of thousands of people, Lyft, you know, that was a big growth company. Uh, that's over, right? And now that's why if you're, you're waiting to go back to work, I think it's time to think of something else to do or start investigating. Just don't wait there. And by the way, you know, once you start getting the unemployment insurance, and a lot of that is backed up, I keep hearing uh, places all the time. Actually, there's a big story here of people who uh, have been laid off and not working. And here's a lady in, uh, uh, where is she in New York? Fern Wynham, uh, she talks about this lady down here, okay? She says, uh, it's very scary. Every day I wake up hoping I will get my unemployment benefits, and I haven't got it. You know, I got a lot of members, too, asking about their unemployment benefits. Well, the, the Department of Labor and the state government is so screwed up, every one of them. And what happened is they had an old system, you know, handling 10,000 people a week or whatever the hell they know. Now they want to change the whole system and handle a million a week. They can't do that. And they had two weeks to do it. So they're working on that. Uh, what you really, I think to me, um, you want to make sure they have it, your application. Uh, but no matter what, you, you'll get the money going back to when you started, not when they open up your envelope <laughs> or, or work on it. You, you'll get retroactive last couple of months, but that doesn't help you now if you need the money, right? Uh, and, and so that's important. Now, it, I know people, the stories I hear personally, whatever, I mean, um, an immigrant family, uh, or actually the now new Americans are all already, uh, they have wait on, line, uh, on the phone for eight hours trying to, you know, uh, do this. They still haven't gotten money either. They know their thing is in there. Now, I have a, so you remember, make sure you have the list for the uh, uh, pandemic unemployment office. What most states, and every state is different, so don't take me. Uh, do I hear music uh, and not you? Mm, I don't hear any music. <laughs> I, I, I gave out my, I, there was music in the uh, little video I sent out announcing this uh, where I didn't talk. So people said, hey, I didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, no, you heard music. I, I put music in there. Actually, I was doing it in my underwear, and I didn't want to videotape anything. <laughs> so I said, 
all I do is I'll put graphics in there and words, what's going to happen and, and put a bit of music. Actually, there's a nice vi uh, editing. I've used a lot of video editor stuff. This is called We Video. And it's like 25, it's really cheap. And the other one, they have an upgrade for 10 or 20 bucks a month that gives you like a million videos and a million audios. And it's fun to play with. So if you're looking for stuff like that, because you got to go find something that either pay somebody, you know, because of copyright stuff. This is all copyright free. And there's a million things in there. And that's what the... Uh, uh, well, see, people are asking questions. I do. We are up in Wilkesbury. Toby, you are. A lot of us near the Pocono restaurant. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jim, Th yes, yes, yes. Well, actually, um, my new grandson, I have a grandson now, uh, Caleb, is, is up in the Pocono. They're, they're with some friends from <coughs> New York who got an Airbnb in the Poconos to escape New York City in the, uh, the Corona stuff. Hiya, Kevin. Uh, uh, Kevin found, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, Perny, Pierney, Perny. uh, he found that somebody has a website with my stuff on it and everything that looks like me and pictures of me and, and, and but on for the age, the age is 10 years younger. So if it doesn't say the guy's 76, you know, it's not me. Diane Brown, love your pizza. Thank you, Diane. Uh, Toby again, uh, need info on grant for my new Products my in the, my state is our new products. Is that a, a company, China? Uh, I guess you have a company. What kind of company is it? I'm back now, Clyde. Great. Oh, we got a lot of questions. I didn't see. Sorry. Uh, this isn't true. That the true amount you can get through SBA is. I think it now is. No, it, it's at least a hundred. It used to be a million, but I think they stopped it now at a hundred and fifty thousand. The ten thousand is what it is. The grant on the emergency. There's two programs at the SBA. One is the emergency money, and the other is PPP. Okay. <laughs> oh, Twyla, when you're coming to town. Uh, uh, and uh, so the 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 PPP, you can get a grant. You know, lots, million dollars. You know, uh, as long as you use it for the right things. You know, payroll and rent and stuff like that. On the emergency, only 10,000 is up to the grant, okay? But I think the maximum, I think on the, I'm not sure which one now is the, is PP, is only 150,000, but uh, one or both only goes up to 50,000, which used to be like 2 million. Hello, just got here a little late. Oh, that's okay, I'm late too, Anna. Uh, Easton, yes, no, well, I'm getting a mortgage this month. Do they have grants for, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you know, just in the discussion, say Easton and, and uh, um, you know, mortgage money. It's getting faster now, and they have made an upgrade. Yeah, Twyla, she, uh, <clears throat> she knows if you, you're trying to get your unemployment at, at, at California, hook up. Uh, her, her name is spelled T-E-U-L-A. Uh, she's a member there. So you put that, you find her there, and, and leave a note. She could probably help you better than I can. She does a lot. Now, she's the one that has the video we did together on how only to pay 10% of what you owe the IRS. That was great stuff. I mean, that's why she's a wonderful person, be able to dig in. And that's what life is. We have to teach more people, you know, that, that not accept what is everybody else is doing. If everybody else is doing it, it's not an opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity is something that nobody else is doing. Yeah. So everybody goes to Google. Google, well, how do you do this? And you see how everybody else is doing it. Well, that's not an opportunity. You, know, you got to be uh, more clever than that to get opportunities in life. You don't want opportunities. You want to go with the sheep. Fine. Okay. And that, that's fine. There, 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 there's lots of ways to get through life. You know, and nobody has the magic you know, secret. But if you're struggling, then you have to try harder. And it's not just, you know, banging your head against the wall harder. <laughs> That's not going to happen. You have to do it differently. You got to stop banging your head against the wall and think of different ways. And we're all smart enough. Sure, we're not geniuses. None of us are. You know, or there's a few. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and, and But we're all, you know, good enough. It's sort of like driving a car, you know? I mean, we all thought maybe in the beginning of a car, oh, I could never do that, you know? Uh, horses are easier and all that kind of stuff. Why don't we figure it out, you know? And figure it out good enough 
to, to get by. You're not going to be a race driver, but you could use it. And that's what technology is. It's just shit to use to get, to get through life. I cannot receive large amounts of funds unless it is either deposited in my able. Oh, John, you've been mentioned. Well, then don't. <laughs> you're going to lose something else requires a unique. Oh, you're, you're the one I sent a whole bunch of stuff for John. I mean, the, in other words, you need a grant to, uh, 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 to, to put it into a, your able bank account. So you need a grant to put it into a savings account. I mean, that's tough. I mean, the, the best I know of, I mean, well, see to me, why not get income? If you generated income and now you found somebody on the web, uh, do something, if you do it at home at, and, and they give you a hundred bucks. Uh, well, if you put that in your ABLE account, you don't have to pay taxes on it and you got it in your ABLE account. It's not income, right? Because you put it in your ABLE account. I mean, that, that's what I would think, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't know the ABLE thing that well, but otherwise, I mean, you, you want somebody to give you free money to put into a savings account. The only thing I know like that is IDAs, you know, or, you know, every once in a while, I mean, like the um, uh, Corona uh, stimulus checks for $1,200, that you could have done. But see, most of the grant money is you to do something. You got a, a utility bill. Okay, here's money to do that. You got a mortgage bill. Here's money to do that. You want to go to school. Okay, here's money to do that. You want to start a business. Okay, here's money to do that. See, uh, and, and that is... I mean, it's not impossible, you know, and that's why the ideas I gave you today uh, are, to me, the only thing I could think of, you know, because you'll use your SSI. I understand. I can't find one that works for me. Yes, it'll be hard. You know, it, it's going to be hard. <laughs> it's going to be hard even to get it without that requirement. But with that requirement, it may or may not happen. And you're going to have to bang your head against the wall finding it. And, and the most important thing when you do things like this is uh, when they say no, you say, well, where else? OK, uh, I mean, it, it, it just this may. I don't know where I mean, that is a tough I've been studying this for 40, 50 years and, and I gave you the, the ones that I think that are possibilities. Did you check the IDA accounts? I sent you a report, you know, uh, with how to find those and, and where they are and how to find them. And, and whatever, and also there's emergency money you could, you could lie and say the money is for something else, and and then put it into your account. You know, uh, other than that, it's earning. It, you know, and I showed you ways to earn it at home, but very, you know, not a whole lot of effort. I mean, it's going to take effort. Everything does, uh, but it's the gig economy that's unstructured. It's easier, and you could do it from home. Uh, okay, Toby, Anna DeLuca, congratulations on your new home and hope you uh, are well in East. And I have a question about buying a home during this time, good or bad. I wish you and yours the best. Well, I mean, it, it, there's always good and bad times for everything, okay, uh, no matter what. I think the point to me on a home, are you going to live in it? If you're talking about investing in a home and hoping and then when you need the money, you know, I mean, there are complicated issues and it, it depends on the individual. I think it's safer if you're going to live in something. This is going to be yours. I mean, it's not, and, and, and then you don't have to pay rent, you know, or whatever. You own the home. So what happens? You still have a place to live and, and you're paying that. You can afford it. Okay. And you can afford it the place and it'll probably go up and rent. I mean, it's probably the best investment if you're going to live there. If you're not going to live there and maybe you need money three years, maybe you need it in 10 years, maybe in and you don't know, and that's going to, then that gets riskier that way. The least risky place in owning a home is living in it. <laughs> and, and that's a point. I mean, it, it is, there, the, there's not, not very much on the market right now. It's not like in the crash of the 2008 when everybody was getting rid of their homes because they needed cash. Now they're not sitting on their homes. And, and so there's not a lot of inventory. So it, it's, uh, uh, the market is, I mean, the value of homes is not decreasing, you know, uh, during this time period right now, in the last couple of weeks, months or whatever, because there's nothing on the market. Uh, and, and so the people need homes, you know, if there was a lot on market would, but the problem is there's not inventory to sell, you know, and uh, people, uh, the real estate people always love that. I have the video, you're in an orange suit, but I can't get it to start. What video, Clyde? What? <laughs> Oh, you, you have, 
I mean, what we're looking at here, you can't, now this is live. This is not a video. If you're, you're seeing me in an orange jacket, <laughs> this is me live, not video. I mean, I've done videos in my orange suit, but I'm not sure what it is. But, you know, on the discussion, go in the discussion, tell me what you need, and I try to fix it that way. And again, give me, you know, two days max to, to, to uh, fix something or get you the answer that you need. I want to answer everybody. Man, listen, I am here only to get a potential source of information or help or money or whatever that you need. That's what I want to do the rest of my life doing. There's nothing more important for me to do. Uh, I want to get up every morning doing that. I don't want to collect a whole shitload of money and put it in the basement or something for my spoiled kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I want to use me as much as possible. I know more about this stuff, I think, than anybody in America. And, and I want to be able to help other people do it. And it may or may not work for you. I can't guarantee that. All I can guarantee is that I, I know this stuff better than anybody else. And, and the programs are real. I'm not going to send you a, a fake program. Uh, uh, Uber and Lyft is pa pandemic uh, employment office. Yes, in most states. It, it, in, in California, it's debatable. <laughs> because California tried to make Uber and Lyft uh, be employees. So I think they're still working that out, uh, but I'm not positive. But yes, you apply anyway. The most important, it costs nothing to apply. If you have a question like that, don't ask me, don't, just apply. <laughs> they're going to tell you the real answer. I'm going to guess, you know, and, and that's it. Like, uh, can I get money? The guy who needed it to save or something can put money in savings. Yeah. Uh, can I get it? Uh, money. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, this is a possibility. You know? uh, uh, and it's the same with applying for this. I mean, now, see, uh, you could be down, you know, just cut your hours down and you're eligible for unemployment. That's right. In other words, say you're working 40 hours a week and now they cut you down to 30 hours. Oh, you can go get unemployment. And see, by doing that, you're going to get not only what the state, the, the state will give you a percentage. They won't give you a whole unemployment because you're only lost like 20% of your income. So you get that 20% of the unemployment uh, or less. But you get the extra $600 a week. Now that's what's great. You get an extra $600 a week <laughs> because you're on unemployment. You're only on 20% unemployment. That's okay. As long as you're on unemployment, you get that $600 a week. So six times 13, uh, 6,000, three and six, 18. So that's like $8,000. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. And it costs your boss nothing. Yeah. That's what's neat. Uh, I have the video you're in. I'm so, sorry. so glad to be here. Oh, thank you, Dan. Glad to have you here, Chris. Hill, yes. I, I feel, isn't there a, when I was a, growing up, that, was, that used to be the, the jail for teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Camp Hill. <laughs> How did you get twenty thousand dollars in normal uh, government grants for 2020? You mentioned in your email. Well, that's the total amount, uh, John. In other words, you asked me. I sent out an email today. You know uh, that Corona is giving an average of twenty-two thousand uh, dollars per family. That you know in twenty in the year 2020. That's if you take that you know, $2.7 trillion and you divide it into the number of households. That's what I call a thing is a household. You divide it, that is about $24,000, $25,000 in that range, you know, depending on the numbers you use. That's where that is. And we already give that much in existing programs. So we're doubling the amount of free money that we're giving the families. Thank you, Toby. Okay, mortgage money. Yeah. Uh, Twilo, yep. Uh, what was that yep to? <laughs> Dan Rock, you two grants for video businesses. Uh, yeah, I think video business would be good uh, business. Or actually streaming. I mean, if I was in the video business now, I would help people stream. In other words, not do a video of them singing in the car, guitar. Help them set up a streaming service so they can get concerts online using Zoom or another program. Uh, service like that because you can't give a concert right so you give a uh, uh 
a Zoom, zoom.us, I think it is. I mean, uh, it's a, and that's what we all have to learn is a new way. Now, I, I mentioned earlier, a video earlier yesterday, today, about how people are cutting hair on the internet. How do you do that? Barbers are teaching you how to do it. And they see you cutting and they tell you, no, do this over there and things. See, they're making money. That's what you got to do. Anna, yes, Eastern Pennsylvania Home Improvement Grant. Yes. Okay. It, it, uh, anything. Just start a new discussion. Say, I'm Anna. I'm Eastern Pennsylvania. I need money to fix up my house. Okay. I do the research, put together the court, send you all the sources locally. What I normally do is show you where to find them. Because, see, there's really tens of thousands of sources on almost anything. But I tell you, because I do this all the time, I know where to look to find them. So I tell you where to look to find the money to do that uh, in your city. And that's what I send a lot out to. Grants for video business. And Chris, you know, I mean, uh, now don't forget, to me, if I was in the video business too, would be I would try to get government contracts. I wouldn't get a grant. You know, I mean, you can, and there are grants to do that, but... And if you got a fifty thousand dollar contract, you know, plus then you get another one next year. I mean, unless you're worrying about eating or anything, there's uh, to me a contract is better, particularly in a service business. You know, I, you want a grant because you want to, you know, have money to spend. Right? <laughs> we all want that. Would love that. But you're really in business to get customers, and that's why if the government is there to help you get uh, customers then if you help them, let them teach you how to do that, that's self-sustaining. That's like teaching a man to fish, not just give him the fish. <laughs> yeah. And the government does that too. They even have grants to help you learn how to get the contracts. And that's important. Uh, and, and I have to thank you exactly. Find me and let's go help. Yes. Oh, I see you. Uh, okay. Uh, Twila, Twila. Tula, <laughs> you got to teach me that a little more. Uh, hope all is well there. Yes, yes. Florence, Kentucky. Yes. Anything on student loans? Yes. You don't have to pay for two months. Uh huh. Right. Because of the Corona thing, you don't have to pay your student loans for two months. And no penalty, no nothing or whatever. Uh, tell me about student loans. Session. I'll send you a report. A whole bunch of things and all the the ways to. Uh, maybe get out of paying them and things like that. So there's a lot of programs that people aren't applying for in there that, that will either cut them down or even get rid of it and stuff like that. So I've got a big package of stuff you can go through uh, on student loans, but now in the Corona pa package, there's that. By the way, uh, uh, how many, I don't need to go raise your hand. No, uh, uh, the, uh, how many saw the report on, on um, rent? Now, that was interesting to me. I keep reading about it somewhere all over that rent grants and people are doing rent grants. Well, rent grants, man. So I put Google rent grants. I got 577,000 rent grants. And these are all local communities that are giving grants to help you pay the rent. You can't do it with that mortgage. I did that mortgage and all you get the people are selling you money with a little, you know, a down payment grant in it or something. It doesn't work like that. See, that's why uh, what you think will work, you have no idea until you try it. But rent grants work. So if you put rent grants Pennsylvania and see all of them, or just PA, because you, you have to figure out how the robots are going to look for that, you know. Uh, and, but yeah, 500000 There's lots of money. I mean, up to like seven dollars $8,000 to help you pay back rent. That's grant and don't have to pay back. <laughs> Who's the guy who wants to uh, put it in a savings account? Well, if you have other money to pay your rent, then you get that for the rent. Yeah. Well, that, that's lying. You don't want to do that. Uh, Kevin, uh, uh, nope. It goes from my hands to the April account rather than someone else's hands to my April account. I get kind of, well, right. No, all the things I'm talking about, John, for your April account is money going to you. Uh, not to the ABLE account. Yeah. Uh, okay. SBA a few days ago saying my ADN athlete is currently processed in order. Well, oh, great. Ah, now here's the, here's, he, he's got a, e, that's the emergency. I forget what the other one. 
uh, disaster loan, which is a grant up to $10,000 as a grant. So he just put, he got a note the other day that it's been approved. So he's going to get a grant first and then the rest of the loan he has. Is there money for properties? Yes, it depends. I mean, the, that grant money that, uh, 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 that he's getting from the SBA, use it for anything. It's for your business. So if you have to pay yourself as an employer, employee, <coughs> then you can. Uh, grant money to train myself and my three sons in truck driving. Yeah, Earl, I think I've, I've sent you a bunch of stuff like that, didn't I? Uh, if not, you know, put in the discussion because there's a lot of training money like that at your state department of labor has that. And I think I sent you some, uh, usually it would be a report of all the training programs in your state. What about the type of grant for publishing a book? Uh, yes, there is money. I think, I mean, uh, and from publishers, there is money, but I think, I mean, I've written a hundred books you know, and about 10 with people in New York and got grants to do it, you know, ahead of time, that's called an advance. Yeah. Now that's hard. I mean, I think writing books now, at least for me, and depending on the book is, uh, I, <clears throat> but I got a report, I'll send it to you uh, on help for authors and stuff like that, because the government has grants, you know, if you write their kind of book, but if you want to write your kind of book, and now you could publish your own book for no money. You write and publish it for no money. You put it on Amazon for free. And so now you're in the biggest bookstore in the world and you got a Kindle book there and it costs you nothing, just the time to do it. Uh, and now you're published and that makes it easy, e easier to sell. Uh, can you build an income of 100,000 a year in the gig economy and, and forget about SSI? Yes. But see, to me, also, there's two ways you use gig economy. Yes, they do it. Because what people do is they use it on the platforms. And then they go through the platforms and take a lot of the money. But then you learn the business. And then you start getting customers yourself and eliminating the platform. You know, and you make more money that way. So yes, and I, I think it's a wonderful way because it's hard to get customers. And, and using the gig economy, what's great is that they have customers. Dang, I'm lost. It didn't like me. I hope I come back. Uh...